Talon fighting out of Bozeman, or Montana Mixed Martial Arts in Bozeman. They have a good school. They're well balanced, train every discipline pretty well. Most of their fighters come in prepared good. Talon's bringing a record of 1-0 and in with them. Looks like he's a fan of Wolverine. Got the Wolverine beard going on. Got a white belt in jiu-jitsu. Been training for a year in jiu-jitsu. Um, his favorite technique is punches to the face. That's a pretty good one to stick with. It's effective. Something interesting about him. He told me he visited Australia twice to prospect for gold. He actually showed me some pictures of his uh, gold he got while he was over there. Pretty neat, not everybody's gone prospecting in Australia. I think you said there was 64 ounces between four of them they found. That's pretty good. I'm at uh, 175 tonight. His last fight was in September. Said he got to see his fight, his opponent fight before, and his opponent brings a heavy right hand. But he thinks he's able to avoid that and apply his game. He thinks his grappling experience is going to be the big difference and the big factor for him to pull off the W. So it'll be interesting to see if he shoots, goes for that takedown. Off. He's fighting out of Goose Town. He's got a 1-1 record. He's also got a 2-0 boxing record. So we look for this to be a stand-up fight on his side. He's done a lot of conditioning and groundwork to get ready for this fight tonight. He says he likes the thrill of getting punched and punching back. Played some college football in North Dakota. Looks like he's a physically strong guy. Predicts this to be a first round stoppage. This should be an interesting matchup, Sam. We got a wrestler against a boxer. Monty put down that he's a, can't lose, he's a one-man army. So pretty confident, feels like he's got what it takes to, to put his opponent away. I know his coach, I've trained with uh, Chris Eamon out of Anaconda. He's got good boxing, a lot of amateur boxing experience. So look for his guys to have some good boxing. Getting a lot of support here. Kind of kind of being close to Butte. Looks like he's got a lot of guys coming in, uh, showing support. Got some fans here. Both fire looking like they're ready to go. Got a touch of the glove. Out number six is on its way. Money staying tight. Got good defense. Hands up. Colin going to push in the cage, looking for that takedown right away. Monty trying to keep him high, keep him off of his legs. Get that under up. Get that under up. Monty got the overhook. <laughs> Monty wants a good chance to show his boxing skills and keep this up for him. Did a good job there, Monty. Tried to get his back against the cage and put Talon against the cage. Talon recognized it and immediately put him back on the cage. This could be a wearing fight, you know. I mean, uh, Let's go, Monty. Sitting in that clinch work and wear. 
So as we've seen in that last fight, conditioning was definitely a factor. Looks like Talon's been able head. to get down to both he legs. Gonna look to pick up that double leg. Lonnie grabbing the fence, the ref warns him. Talon gets him back time. down. Lonnie's back against the cage. Look for Monty to be crawling up against the cage, uses his back to, to cage walk there, and there he goes for it. Talon wants to suck him away from that cage. Talon's using that cage to get him down, but it allows uh, Monty also to, to get the ability to get back to his feet. Good job by Monty there, he digs both under hooks. Wants to lift uh, Talon back up, get him off them legs. Allen looking to take this to the ground. I don't know if he wants to test Monty's boxing skills this early in the fight. Monty lands some good body shots. And he's ripping a pretty good right hook there to the body. Go, Talon. Going to the head. Monty looks comfortable leaning against that cage now. Throwing some hands. Talon relentless on that takedown and gets Monty up. Got him a little further away from the cage. One thing that Talon could do would be to, to go ahead and reach up and grab Monty's head and pull his head away from that cage. If he could get him parallel to the cage instead of perpendicular, it would shut down that cage walk. You see Monty going right back to that cage walk, working his way slowly up to get standing again. He's got his hand over his head, looking for the guillotine. Got his knees underneath him. Nice knee by Talon. I think Monty needs to keep on not losing focus on that wall walk. I mean, looks like he's more confident in his stand up. Obviously, Talon wants to get to the ground. Monty needs to get his back off that cage. You know, he needs to think about turning Talon and getting back off of that cage. Talon gets those legs again. He pulled them away from the cage a little bit. Monty's butt scooting back to the cage to do that walk. So Talon goes up for the back. Goes ahead and jumps on the back. Didn't quite get his hooks in. We're back standing. See if Monty can get some of his boxing off here. A little pretty wide right hand there. Swinging to the fence and on that one. Good uppercuts inside for Monty, and Talon pushes him right back into the cage. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, let's go. I'd like to see Monty try to spin off here. If he can step off that cage, get his back away from that cage, it would help him take away Talon's takedown. Another thing Monty could do, instead of going over that head, he should be trying to push Talon's head away from his body. 10 seconds left in the round. Talon going for some foot cross, trying to do some damage here. Let's try another lift. Monty was able to stop it. So far it's been that one's round on my scorecard. How do you see it? You know, Talon's doing a good job. It'll be interesting to see if Talon's able has the card to keep this pace up. You know, it's a lot of uh, a lot of work pushing in there, struggling for that takedown. Monty did a good job coming back up, but definitely Talon, I would say controlled that round, got the fight mostly where he wanted, got several takedowns. Wasn't able to do much with them, but he was still dictating where the fight was going. He was controlling the ring. You know, we only see Monty throw much, didn't see, didn't get off much. You know, he threw a big heavy right hand. I think Monty right here should have been working his jab. If he can work that jab to start setting up his punches, keep talents from Having something in his face so Talon just can't come in freely for that takedown would, would help him to start setting up his boxing, you know? And he's got the boxing advantage. I'd like to see him be using that, that jab to start setting up some punches, but it looks like uh, Monty's more of a power puncher. You know, I think cardio is going to be a big, big factor in this next round. We'll see what guy comes out fresher. I think we're going to see Monty come out swinging this second round. Yeah, I think Monty should be working his footwork, doing some uh, jabbing, trying to keep Talon at bay, not letting him have a free range to just walk in and push him against the cage. With respect to fighters. Monty's already backing up towards the cage. 
That's kind of where Talon wants him. I like it. There he goes. He gets his back off that cage. Still kind of staying close to that cage, which is making what Talon wants easier. Nice right there by Monty. Talon goes right back into pushing against the cage, going for that takedown again. Talon doing a little foot stomp. Collins obviously really wants to get that takedown. Feels that he's got his advantage on the ground. Nice knee by Cowan to the inner thigh of Monty. Both guys kind of content just staying in this neutral position. I think that they both need to try to make something happen. Now he's going back to the body shots there. Trying to work that body. It looks like they might be hurting him a little bit. Yeah, definitely put a little fire under him to try a little harder. Fence grab from Monty. That's Monty's second fence That's grab. Right. We're going to see the ref. I think the ref's going to take a point for Monty for grabbing the fence. Looks like the ref's telling him right now he's gonna take the offense. One point. You know, one point can definitely be a factor. You know, if Monty can pull this round out, I think Town's got the first round. You know, even if he wins this round, that makes it a draw, which keeps Town in the lead. So Monty needs to be careful about that because if he loses another point, it'd be really hard for him unless he finishes the fight to, to get the victory. Now we see Monty push Town up against the fence. Monty needs to get busy here in this position and get something going on to make up that point. Yeah, when you lose a point, you definitely need to win that round. You know, and even there, he's ahead, so he'd have to win the next two rounds for sure. And would still only put him in a draw if he doesn't get the finish. So hopefully that lights Monty up and gets a little more eager to look for that finish. Colin gets a takedown. Monty staying on that head, looking for the guillotine, but doesn't quite have the positioning of the feet to finish that guillotine. Really hard, almost impossible to finish a guillotine while somebody's in side control. You see, uh, Town safe there, got his himself in side control. Good job by Talon putting Monty away from that cage. Monty was able to use that cage several times to get back to his feet. And here we see Monty going to guard, looking for some up kicks. Talon finally got him flat on his back where he's wanted him. And Monty doing a good job getting back up. Looks off so his knees. Monty's going to go for a single leg. He lets it go. Good knees from Talon. Both fighters staying busy. Monty's got Talon up against the cage now. Yeah, interesting that Monty's going ahead and pushing Talon up against the cage here. You know, even though it looks like he's got the, the advantage standing up in his interview, he was very confident that he had the better stand up and had the power to, to put uh, Talon away with his kids. Talon's going for a choke. Yeah, Talon went ahead and pulled guard, wrapped his feet around, went for that gear team. Obviously, he's pretty, uh, pretty confident that he's got the better ground game when he's willing to go after that gear team. Cool guard. Monty working some good ground and pound right at the end of that first round. Second round. The second round, moving on to the third round. Monty a little slow getting up. You know, that could be the factor here. Monty looks a little tired. Maybe that's why he's going for the takedown, trying to run it out of steam. It's a pretty close fight right now. I mean, you gotta give the edge to Talon. I think he won that first round, and then Monty losing that point. It was a close round, but obviously, either way, how the judge see it. Still any man's fight that third round, make a big decision. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, yeah, as it gets into that third round, as I said earlier, a lot of times that's just all about conditioning. Man, which man did more training in the uh, for this fight? Who's in better shape? You know, both of them look tired, but uh, Monty definitely got up slow off the mat at the end of that second round. Here we see big takedown from uh, Talon. Monty immediately goes to work in that 
lock up the cage. It's always kind of a key sign when a guy's slow to get up after the end of the round. Shows that he's tired. We'll see how much Monty has starting this third round. A little blood from the nose of Talon. Anything that'll slow him down. Oh, Monty immediately coming in, pushing Talon up against the back. He's getting his back to the cage, controlling that center. Monty really needs to work his hands here. Oh, he's the better boxer. He needs to get it going. Pushing Monty or Talon into the cage, seeing a reverse throw here. Good job by Talon. He reversed the position, got his back off the cage. Throwing in some body shots there. Going right back to any touch of Tim. Monty looks pulling, like pulling up on a guillotine, a standing guillotine. You see him really reefing on it. Looks like it's pretty deep. You know, but he's got an arm in, so. It's harder to finish that move with the arm in. You know, your, your, your arm's not going to be directly across the chin, cutting off the blood flow or choking him. Pretty hard to finish that technique with an arm in. Ryan shoots a double again, slams into the mat. Right into side control. Starts to work on Monty's body. Get to work, try to get back up and steal this round away. Yeah, Monty just kind of holding on to that head there. Not much he can do from there. Pretty hard to do anything when he's holding that head. Monty staying flat. Pretty hard to do a lot of movement. Not many solutions you can do when you're staying flat on your back. Here we see Monty starting to work his way again, try to regain guard. He's got half guard back. Callum seems to be the busier fighter at this point. I'd like to see Monty let go of that head and work on to some other things. And the only thing he's doing by pulling the head down is keeping his posture down so Talent can't really get up and see off. Monty looked for a minute to try to roll Talent over. Talent really like to see him kind of put that hand on there. There he goes for it. He just peeled that hand off. Goes right into mount. Good job by Talent. Monty trying to sit up out of mount. Talon pushes him back down into mount. Good, good work from Talon. Good grappling. Trying to get up high in that mount position. Looking for strikes. Still a lot of time left in that round. Now with two minutes left, Monty rolls over to his back. You know, and obviously Talon's going to go for that rear naked choke. Monty really needs to be fighting the hands. Keep control of those hands. Oh, it looks like Talon's got him locked up. Got that rear naked across. Squeeze on and Monty's. That's it. The ref calls a stop. Not sure if Monty tapped, but definitely was in that rear naked choke. We'll have to see in the replay if the ref stopped that or if Monty actually got the tap in. Here we see that second hand. Talon gets the, the choke locked in. Grabs a hold of his other biceps. Starts to pull that choke tight. Tapped, but it looked like definitely the ref knew and recognized that the choke was in tight. Monty didn't have any defense to get out of it. And I'm not sure if, oh, maybe he did. I don't I think know. It was the, a verbal tap on that one. Might have been. Good job by the referee, though. I mean, it's, again, this is our amateur 